Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rob Riches, and I'm about to share with you my back and bicep workout on this Powertech Lever Gym. First, I need to warm up, and for this, I'm going to start with inverted rows. It's a great back warm up, but now it's time to move on for the first big back exercise. And for this, I need to add some weight onto the lever arm to start with some bent over rows. The bent over lever row is one of the best mass building exercises, but I still need to warm up. So this first set is just to warm up to pump some blood into the muscle. That's the warm up set done. Now I can start to add some more weight to overload the muscle and encourage some growth. I find the best rep range to encourage muscle growth is between 10 or 12. So you want to select the heaviest weight you can manage for up to 10 or 12 repetitions, keeping good form. I just about managed to get that 12th rep in. Another great technique besides going heavy is to include a drop setting in your last set. And this involves taking about a third of the weight off immediately after you fail and then going back in and doing as many more repetitions with good form as you can. So let's go into that. That last drop set gives me a crazy burn in my back. Done with the heavy compound movement, now it's time to move on upwards and switch up to the lat pull down to help target my lats. So let's get to it. This is one of my favorite back exercises as over the years it's helped me add width to my lats and given me that wide V taper look. I'm already warmed up so I can jump straight in with a heavy weight for those 12 reps. That was a good set, but I need more weight. Good job this lever gym can handle up to 300 pounds. That was a great set. And although I'm not gonna do a drop set on this one, I am gonna do a rest pause. This really pushes the body hard and encourages a lot more muscle fibers to be used. This involves resting for 10 or 15 seconds and then jumping straight back onto that set to get a few more reps out with the same weight. Those were great final reps. And in addition to try and overload the muscle with heavy weight each time, another thing you can do is reduce the rest period between sets. So I'm gonna keep things moving and go on to the next exercise, which is seated row. The seated row is a great exercise to finish off my back workout with. It really allows me to feel an intense, deep feeling in the center of my back, helping to build thickness and depth to my upper body. But I'm not done yet. 
Still need to go up one more weight increase. This is my final work set for my back. Time to give it everything I've got. That was a short but definitely intense back workout. I want to keep things moving now and go straight on with arm curl and hit my biceps. With my biceps having had a great workout already as part of the back routine, I'm jumping straight in with a seated preacher curl to help add some peak onto the biceps. With the biceps being a smaller muscle group than the back, they don't need as many overall sets to really fatigue them. But with that said, I still need to overload them with heavy weight to help stimulate growth. So let's add some more plates on there for the next work set. I love the intense burn the preacher code gives my biceps. But I'm not done just yet. One more exercise to do to finish off peaking and defining the arms. The final exercise for the biceps is the cable concentration curl, which gives a great peak to the bicep and is really gonna push me hard for the end of my workout. That's a crazy pump in the bicep. Time to switch it over and work the opposite arm. And there we have it. My back and bicep workout. Short but sweet. Join me next time for another one of my workouts on PowerTech. Until then, go get to it.